All right, Shalom. Just want to say Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Kal Halal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and much love to you, El to you, um, brothers across the four corners pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. Uh, brother Zaab, again, just trying to put together another lesson dealing with, you know, prophecy and the mysteries of the Most High. You know, because when you look through the scriptures, you know, a lot of the things that even when Yahweh Shai came on to, to the earth, it wasn't given to all the people. The mysteries, you know, the things that he was speaking about. It was only for a select few, which it is still like that today. That's why there's so many people out here believing in all types of madness. Because the scriptures are actual puzzle that has to be put together by the men of the Lord. You know, the, these breakdowns and the understanding, you know, is given by the inspiration of the Most High. But it's given to only a select few men. Okay, I'll start off in Revelation 19 and 10, and it says, And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. And when you look on the earth today, the only men that have been really prophesying, which when we can get that word, the prophesying, which means to say before, are the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, starting from Apostle Taha on down, and from their teachers who they learned from. You know, the Lord didn't give his understanding to, to, to any other men. And that's, that's plain to see, you know. And this word um, prophecy uh, here is, I'll play it. Strong's G, 4394. Prophetia. Prophetia. Strong's G, 4396. Prophetia. And it says, this prophecy a discourse emanating from divine inspiration and declaring the purposes of the Most High, whether by reproving and admonishing the wicked or comforting the afflicted or revealing things hidden by foretelling future events. So it's to say before, in, you know, future events like the microchip, these things were being prophesied by the apostles and, and elders for years, for you know, and now it's coming to pass. So these are things that we can see, you know, right in front of us. Also, it says, what, um, reproving and admonishing the wicked, you know, and they do that, we do that all the time. Now, when you look at the Christ Christianity, they say, come as you are. They don't admonish faggots, curse them out, tell them they have to repent. They don't. They don't, you know, reprove um, idolatry. They don't reprove people that are, that are into to um, adultery. They accept all of that, and they told you, "Come as you are," and the Most High is going to accept you once you um, believe on His name. You'll be okay. You'll be safe. So those. That, that right there cancels every last preacher that's into Christianity, cancels them out as being a man of the Lord. Because they don't do the works of the Lord. And I'll get this real quick now. This is um, 2 Timothy 2 and Salakia, 2 Timothy 3 and 16. It says, All scripture is given by the inspiration of the Most High, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of the Most High may be perfect, thoroughly 
furnish unto all good works. So when you see the apostles and the elders and even you know men of higher um, understanding and rank in your in your camps, you know reproving you, you know it's it's you're just supposed to do that, you know. But it's they use the scriptures to reprove you, and like it says, it's for instruction in righteousness. You know, and these are things that you're supposed to welcome, really. You know, because the the Most High He chastises who He loves. But they don't do that in these other in, in institutions, man. They don't do that. They don't use the Word of the Lord to correct anything. They use it to pacify their wickedness and to to continue in their wickedness. This is Amos 3 and 7. It says, Surely the Most High Power will do nothing, but He revealeth His secret unto His servants, the prophets. So all these things that we've been learning, all these breakdowns, you know, how to how to, to be a real man, you know, how, how to understand the Scriptures, you know, really it's true. The inspiration of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, but he gives give this understanding to men who you have to follow. You know, and yes, you have to follow men. You know, in sincerity as well. The Lord set up certain men to teach. And now it's up to to us to have you know, through reading and prayer, pray unto the Most High to give you the discernment to figure out who these men are. And today, these men are the apostles and elders of GMS, known as Great Millstone, in this day. It says, this is Job 32 and 8. But there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. So, you know, yes, you, we have the spirit, but it's the Most High that gives these men understanding. That's why when you see them, you know, bringing out different breakdowns and, and being, you know, have different things revealed unto them as the Most High dealing with them. No one else is bringing out the, the prophecies like the, the apostles and the elders. No one else is, is, is showing, you know, growth in terms of their fruit like the apostles and elders. You know? So which means the Lord is giving them that understanding as it says here in Job. This is, uh, now, when you go to this, I'm in Matthew, you know, Yahweh Shai, when he was teaching, he was always talking in parables. And this is, an, this is an account of that. This is Matthew 13 and 9. It says, Who had ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Now let's get that word parables real quick. Okay, and it's um, this is it's really a dark saying. Parable figure comparison placing one thing by the side of another, juxtaposition as of ships in battle. A proverb, an act by which one exposes himself of possessions of danger. So but it 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 goes into let me get it in diction. But it 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 really goes into being a uh, a dark saying, or you know something that is you know hidden pretty much. And Salakia, I can't pull it up here. Maybe I can get it in um. 
Let's try. Let's see what they say in dictionary.com. It says a short allegorical story designed to illustrate or teach some truth. A religious principle or moral lesson. A statement or comment that conveys a meaning indirectly by the use of comparison, analogy, or the like. So, you know, like, you know, not really given the whole thing, but, you know, indirectly, you know, saying what he, what he's saying, you know, it, it, it's like, like I said earlier, like it's a puzzle. It says, and the disciples came and said unto him, why speakest thou unto them in parables? And he answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. So right here, Yahweh Shai is letting them know. This is not for everybody, man. You know, quiet as it's kept. The Bible is not for everyone. The Bible and the mysteries of the Bible is for a select few. You know, and there's 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 examples of this, you know, in 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 the world. There are many clubs and institutions that are that the average person just can't get into. There are many things that, that are like there are certain libraries that you can go into and you just can't go borrow a book out of there. Like at Yale, certain universities, there are libraries where you can't you don't have access to certain things because it's not for everyone. It's the same thing with the scriptures. So these are things that you have to pay attention to so that you could understand why everyone is not going to going to going to get this also you have to to seek out the true men of the lord so that you can gain understanding it says this is my 13 and 12 for whosoever had to him shall be given and he shall have more abundance but whosoever had not from him shall be taken away, even that he had. Therefore I speak to them in parables, because they see and see not, and hear and hear not, neither do they understand. So even if he t tells them, or they see what he's doing, the Most High is blocking them. The Most High is, is not allowing them to understand it, because it's not for them. And Yahweh Shai knew this, and he was just trying to let the disciples understand that. Because they didn't understand well, why, you know, why was he speaking to them like that, you know? But when he came amongst them, he spoke to them as friends, as, it's, as it says further down in, in, in this book, in Matthew. And it's the same thing with us, you know. A lot of things that the apostles and the elders, you know, they reveal to us, they don't reveal that to, to to the regular Joe. You don't see the apostles going around the country visiting, you know, random niggas. No. They go to the churches. They go to their to their fruit. And they sup with us. They and they teach us different things. And they show us through their examples how to behave, how to approach different situations. You know? what you need to do in order to grow. And all this is necessary. But once again, this is all through the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And everything that they do, they give honor unto that name, which is also very important. So, you know, with that, it is one to make like a quick lesson, you know, just, you know, constantly understand that, you know, the prophecy is the spirit of the Lord. You know, the understanding of this book comes through the inspiration of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And that these mysteries that we're be, that's being revealed unto us is a special thing and it's not for everyone. And we should cherish that. So with that, I just want to give all praises unto Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well 
and much love unto you, Akim, across the four corners pushing. Shalom.